Thus, Mahamati, these deluded ones would declare that as words are, so is meaning, that meaning is not otherwise than words. For what reason? Because meaning has no body of its own and cannot be different from words. That the unintelligent declare words to be identical with meaning is due to their ignorance as to the self-nature of words. They do not know, Mahamati, that words are subject to birth and death, whereas meaning is not. Mahamati, words are dependent on letters, but meaning is not. As meaning is freed from existence and non-existence, it is not born. It has no substratum. And, Mahamati, the Tathagatas do not teach the doctrine that is dependent upon letters. As to letters, their being or non-being is not attainable. It is otherwise with the thought that is never dependent upon letters. Again, Mahamati, anyone that discourses on a truth that is dependent on letters is a mere prattler, because truth is beyond letters. For this reason, Mahamati, it is declared in the canonical text by myself and other Buddhas and Bodhisattvas that not a letter is uttered or answered by the Tathagatas. For what reason? Because truths are not dependent on letters. It is not that they never declare what is in conformity with meaning. When they declare anything, it is according to the discrimination of all beings. If Mahamati, the truth is not declared in words, the scriptures containing all truths will disappear, and when the scriptures disappear, there will be no Buddhas, Shravakas, Pratyeka Buddhas, and Bodhisattvas. And when there is no one to teach, what is to be taught, and to whom? For this reason, then, Mahamati, the Bodhisattva Mahasattva is not to become attached to the words of the canonical texts. Mahamati, Owing to the functioning of the minds of sentient beings, the canonical texts sometimes deviate from their straightforward course. Religious discourses are given by myself and other Tathagatas, our hearts, fully enlightened ones, in response to varieties of faiths on the part of beings, in order to remove them from the bondage of the Sita, Manas, and Manavichnana and not for the attainment and establishment of self-realization, which issues from noble wisdom. When there is the recognition of the fact that all things are characterized with imagelessness, and that there is nothing in the world but what is seen of the mind itself, there is the discarding of the dualistic discrimination. Therefore, Mahamati, let the Bodhisattva Mahasattva be in conformity with the meaning, and not with the letter. Mahamati, a son or daughter of a good family who conforms himself or herself to the letter will ruin his or her understanding of ultimate reality and will cause others to fail to recognize the truth. Continuing to cherish wrong views, one's own assertion is confounded by the philosophers who do not understand well what characterizes all the stages of the Dharma and who have no adequate knowledge as to the interpretation of words. If they well understand what characterizes all the stages of the Dharma and are adequately equipped with the interpretation of words and expressions and have a good understanding of the meaning and reason of all things, they will properly enjoy by themselves the bliss of formlessness, while others are properly established in the Mahayana. Being properly embraced in the Mahayana, they will, Mahamati, be in the embrace of the Buddhas, Shravakas, Pradyeka Buddhas, and Bodhisattvas. Being embraced by the Buddhas, Bodhisattvas, Pradyeka Buddhas, and Shravakas, they will in turn embrace all beings. Embracing all beings, they will embrace the good Dharma. The good Dharma being embraced, the Buddha seeds will not be destroyed. When the Buddha seeds are not destroyed, the excellent abodes will be attained. When thus these excellent abodes are attained, Mahamati, the Bodhisattva Mahasattvas will see to it that all beings being established in the Mahayana are born there in the excellent abodes and fortifying 
themselves with the tenfold supernatural power, and assuming various forms, they will discourse on the Dharma in conformity to its true nature. And with a thorough knowledge of various wishes and characteristics of beings. Now, the true nature of things is characterized by non-differentiation and trueness. It is neither coming nor departing. It puts a stop to all idle reasonings, and it is called the truth. Therefore, Mahamate, let a son or daughter of a good family take good heed not to get attached to words as being in perfect conformity with meaning, because the truth is not of the letter. Be not like the one who looks at the fingertip. For instance, Mahamate, when a man with his fingertip points at something, to somebody the fingertip may be taken wrongly for the thing pointed at. In like manner, Mahamate, the people belonging to the class of the ignorant and simple-minded, like those of a childish group, are unable even unto their death to abandon the idea that in the fingertip of words there is the meaning itself, and will not grasp ultimate reality because of their intent clinging to words which are no more than the fingertip to them. To give another illustration, Mahamate, boiled rice is the proper food for infants to whom, suppose, somebody gave uncooked food to eat. In this case, this one is to be considered to be out of his sense because of his not knowing how to prepare food properly. So it is with that which is neither born nor destroyed, Mahamate. It will not manifest itself to anybody unless he is well disciplined in it. Therefore, you should most assuredly discipline yourself in this, and not be like one who, grasping his own fingertip, sees the meaning there. For this reason, Mahamate, you should energetically discipline yourself to get at the meaning itself. Mahamate, the meaning is alone with itself, and is the cause of nirvana. Words are bound up with discrimination, and are the carrier of transmigration. Meaning, Mahamate, is attained from much learning, and this much learning, Mahamate, means to be conversant with meaning, and not with words. To be conversant with meaning means to ascertain the view which is not at all associated with any philosophical school, and which will keep not only yourself but others from falling into the false views. Being so, Mahamate, this is said to be learned much in meaning. Therefore, let seekers for meaning reverently approach those who are much learned in it. But those who are attached to words as being in accord with meaning, they are to be left to themselves and to be shunned by truth-seekers. <laughs>